Good morning team. So today what we're going to be working on is our leg. Now what I've done is kind of shown you uh, the superficial and then we'll get into the deep side of the cat leg. We're looking sort of at the medial aspect here and we're going to start off with the thigh. Now when you first open up um, and take all the fascia off you're going to see two really thin muscles here and you, you'll start to see the formation of the uh, femoral artery and vein. Now these two thinner muscles, you can see one right here, this one I have cut, this is what it looks like when it is um, not cut, uh, but this guy is our sartorius. So what we're actually going to do is on one leg you want to leave them like this, on the other leg you actually want to cut the sartorius and reflect it back. And you want to do the same thing here with the gracilis. This is. Um, this guy right here is my gracilis, and so we want to pull and reflect that one back. Now once we do that, um, up here, it's kind of like with our biceps and triceps. We're going to use these vessels to let us know where the quadriceps and the hamstrings are, okay, underneath this gracilis. So if we start off here first with our quads, you're going to see this white, shiny piece of fascia here. This is showing you where the rectus femoris is. There's a small little indentation you'll be able to slip your probe under to show you the vastus medialis. And then you're going to have to push your sartorius kind of up and out of the way, but you'll see another sort of sliver of muscle in here, right back there, and that's the vastus lateralis. So lateralis, rectus femoris, medialis. Now up in here, and it's kind of hard for me to show you, but way deep down in here, there is another smaller muscle. We might actually be able to see it better from this angle right there, underneath this vein. There's a very small muscle here. That's the iliopsoas. That's the one we're looking for here. So that's your iliopsoas to the lateral side of the femoral vessels. Now when we take off our gracilis, as I've done here, we can see a bunch of smaller muscles and some big ones too. Um, pulling some of the fascia away. This guy right here is your pectineus. This one is my adductor longus. Now don't get confused, I know it's really short, <laughs> it looks really small, but this is our adductor longus. These two together make up the adductor femoris, but for us, we're just going to call it the brevis. Um, you can really call it whatever other adductor. You can call it the magnus if you'd like, or you can call it the adductor femoris. I'm really not that concerned. And then down here, we can see one of our hamstrings. This big guy here is our semimembranosus. And then if I'd cleaned and pulled my fascia away properly, I'd be able to see the tendinosus back here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the cat over and we'll take a look at the posterior hip. Okay guys, so here is our posterior aspect of the cat. Now when you look at this area, you're going to see pretty much this, just a bunch of white stuff. You might be able to see the underlying muscle. Once again, teasing out, pulling off this stuff. On the superior most aspect, you're going to have a difficult time getting the fascia off because it often sticks to the muscle itself. So just kind of go with the flow. Now you'll be able to start to see, and mine's kind of separated here, see differences between muscle groups. So here's one muscle, here's another, this is another one here, we have another two there as well. So we start over here, this is my sartorius, this is the part that's going to wrap around to the front again on the medial aspect. This bigger muscle here is the medius. This smaller muscle down here is the maximus. So medius over maximus. This is a cat-only muscle, so we are going to ignore it, but it's a good landmark to show you where the hamstrings start. So this big flap muscle is the biceps femoris, and then when you first start looking at it, you're going to see this muscle here. It's actually sort of attached, but you'll see the line of fascia that separates it. You're going to pull that apart, and that's going to be your tendinosis, your semi-tendinosis. And then deep to that, you can see on the other side is the membranosis. So semitendinosis, semimembranosis, and your biceps femoris. Now right here, you can see I've kind of cut some of this fascia off. This is covering the lateralis, the vastus lateralis, and it's connected to a smaller muscle here, and that's your TFL. 
your tensor fascia lata. So the next phase of your dissection, once you've done your hip and your thigh, is you want to work down here onto um, the calf. So you can simply reflect back the biceps and then you'll be able to tease out your various lower leg muscles. So this big guy back here, this is going to be our gastrocnemius. And then underneath the gastroc, just as it is in humans, is the smaller soleus muscle right here. Okay. Then you're going to see a group of several muscles. You can kind of tell mine. I tried to separate them. Um, but this sort of thicker group of muscles here, these are your peroneus muscles and, or your fibularis muscles. And for simplicity for us, we're just going to call all of them the fibularis longus. Even though you could tease out the tendon for it, we're just going to collectively call this the fibularis longus. Then right here, we have two more muscles as we move more anteriorly. This is my extensor digitorum longus. And then this guy that's going to wrap around the front is my tibialis anterior. So tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, fibularis longus in the group of fibularis muscles. Separate this out to see the soleus and the gastroc. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the kitty over and then we'll check these out on the other side. Now the medial aspect of the cat <clears throat> is actually so much easier. So what you'll do is you'll kind of, you can push back if you need to the hamstrings here just to get a better view of the gastroc. Once again, you can see your big gastroc here. Right here, you can hear me tapping on it. That's the cat's tibia, which means this guy, this big fat muscle lateral to it is the tibialis anterior. So you can see it from both sides. And then the only other muscle we can see here is this muscle right here. The other muscle that we're concerned with, I should say, is this one to the medial aspect of the tibia. And that is your flexor digitorum uh, longus. So the flexor is on the medial side, the extensor is on the posterior side. And then once again, this guy right here is our gastroc. And that concludes our muscle dissections.